Darkness. You have broken the ancient commandment. Oh, come on, Grandma. It was one cookie. You guys weren't even going to notice. They demand you be eternally oh, come on, Grandma. It was one cookie. Come on, it was a whole jar of them. You were just leaving them up on top of the fridge. You know what? Come on, Grandma. They've been collecting dust for too damn long. It's not fair. Don't send me to hell forever. Don't send me to hell forever because I wanted a Bicky. That was not the joke that I was intending to lead this new series on, but I mean, okay, sure, we're going with that now. But oh yeah, the, uh, I guess I'm calling it the adults only arc of Daggett Plays. Uh, continuing on strong, continuing on strong with Bayonetta, which is a game that I've wanted to uh, LP for this ever since I did uh, Devil May Cry actually, but here we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, 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 mm. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun with this game. This is gonna be a real fun game, but uh, Yeah, basically uh, the story of Bayonetta. I'll just uh, give you the Cliff Notes version real quick. The, De the Devil May Cry guy did this Basically, you know the story is uh, Hit Hideki Kamiya, you know My boy, I, the, the man the man I stand Hideki Kamiya himself famous for uh, you know making Resident Evil 2, and then they said, yo, you want to make Resident Evil 4, but he made it with a sword instead, and they were like, no, stop doing that, stop putting swords in our Resident Evil, and he said, fuck you, I'll make my own game then. So he did. Then he made Devil May Cry. And then he got completely shafted, he must have got shafted or something, because he didn't, uh, because they didn't call him back to do Devil May Cry 2, and what a shit show that was. And, you know, since then, Devil May Cry has, uh, you know, gone on to some stellar heights, but, uh, this is the, uh, but after that, you know, Kamiya kept making, you know, famous goddamn motherfucking classics. Like, uh, what am I thinking? Akami, obviously. Uh, the GameCube one, I was playing it not too long ago. I can't believe, I can't remember the fucking name of it right now. Beautiful Joe, thank you. And, uh... And then, uh, that company, that company, uh, fell through. Yeah, we saw that bit. That's okay, Bayonetta. Bayonetta, that is quite all right. But yeah, um, Hideki Kamiya, sorry, I'm trying to give you a history lesson here. It's been a minute since I, uh, did a Let's Play last. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that, com that company fell through. Um, so he just went, okay, peace out. I'm going to go, you know, start up my own company somewhere else. We'll make it, we'll have our own video games with Blackjack. And hookers. You know, we don't need the blackjack. Ah, screw the whole thing. But, uh, yeah. They started up Platinum Games. And I can't remember if this was, like, their first, first game. But this was definitely, like, their... Hey, you guys want to see what we can do? You guys want to see what we can do? This is what we're doing. This is our Bayonetta. And now, uh... Now they're in an entire game company. Who are basically just built on... How many times can we do Devil May Cry? How many times can we do Devil May Cry over and over again? So, actually, I don't want to do that. I was just going to be like, hey, you want to see, you want to see how far I got? Not, not all that hard, but uh, in my own time. In my own time, I've got, like, my own save file, which I will be uh, going back to in between these sessions just to sort of get the practice up. Because, yeah, I might have embarrassed myself a little um, Devil May Cry 3 saying, oh, look how much, look how much I know about this game. And then, you know, that whole game proceeding to just, like, you know, be a fuck up. I can't believe, I can't believe I unlocked difficult, easy difficulty on the first fucking boss, am I right? Yeah, I know, guys. Yeah, I know. But maybe, I don't know. I don't play, I haven't played this one, uh... It's okay, I will make a new save file, it will be fun. Uh, what was I doing last? Nah, it's fine, it's fine. I know what mission I'm on and it sucks, but that's okay. You know, some things are more important. Some things, like my YouTube, like my YouTube powers. So, what do I actually want to play this on? Uh... I'm hoping maybe just normal. I wonder if I could do it. No, no, because hard. It's like Devil May Cry. You know, you're supposed to play it on your hard difficult, on your normal difficulty for, or you know, whatever the equivalent is, whatever the hardest difficulty is that they unlock at the beginning, and then uh, as you keep going, the new difficulties unlock different enemy placements, and you know, enemy placements are a very specific thing. You know, we need you to learn how to fight this thing in this order versus hard is, you know how to fight the thing. Fight the thing now. So yeah, fuck that noise. I will just go normal. Oh, th there's nothing on screen. Where did, where did, where did my, uh, where did my, where did my character go? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Yep. Getting ready for some cinematics or something. Uh... Flock of birds. I hope they're birds coming out of the moon. Okay, I pressed the new game button, I want to say, 20 seconds ago. Long oh, okay, um, oh shit, okay, I pressed the new game button like 20 seconds ago. Oh, this is, okay, so this is where we're starting, huh? Oh, wow, what a, what a start, what a start, Jesus Christ. I, I, I think there's some sort of plot happening on screen, but, uh, there's a lot of try not to fucking die happening as well. Woo! Oh, jeez. Oh, this game's giving me feelings. Oh, the game said, fuck ya. Fuck ya. You don't get a tutorial. Fucking start. Smash the buttons. Smash the buttons, idiot. Prove to me that you are worth playing my game. This is actually uh, a really good way to actually um, do a tutorial in a game, really, because they literally just give you a segment of fuck around and find out. Screw it, like, you know, without any, uh, without any indication of what it is you're actually supposed to do, here is an arena, just smash all the buttons, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it, okay? And we'll teach you how it was you were actually supposed to do this segment, you know, later. But for now, for now, you know, just have fun. Just have fun. Smash all the buttons. Fight See what happens. See what happens. Shit, I might actually have to. I might have to actually turn off the sound of my TV because uh, I need. I need to hear those. I need to hear those audio indicators to say, "Hey, this. Dodge now, idiot." I'm gonna talk about the enemy design of this game, which don't don't get me wrong. The enemies in this game look fucking sick, but uh, I think Kamiya. I think maybe you. What? What? Wait, wait, you can't just, you can't just do six swings on... Um, can we talk about the stage we're on for a second, guys? Can we talk about the, the stage we're on? Like, why, how are we, how did we open on, like, a clock tower falling off a cliff? Into, I'm gonna say, what is that? I don't know, Toronto? Venice? Big city down there? Mumbai? Jeez, it seems like we've been, it seems like we've been filming for really. Are we gonna talk about that thing in the background or what, video game? Are you gonna give me like my tutorial or what? What's going on there? What's going on with that thing? They launched the witches, rounding up the battle weary witches with little. Can I? Can I? It's it's okay, video game. Can you can you can you give can you give me the buttons? I need buttons. I okay. Oh, now it now it's come to me. What do you mean I have to actually fight that thing? Are you insane? Are you guys fucking insane? But yeah, this is actually, like, yeah, this is a decent way to, uh, just open your game. Just screw around, figure out what buttons do what. We're not telling you shit. You can figure it out on your own. I'm okay! I'm not okay! Did you see the shit we were doing? I'm kidding, this is the most okay I've ever been. You know, if I'm gonna die, if I'm gonna die, if I'm gonna go out, then I gotta go out like that. I gotta go out like that, like falling off a clock tower or some shit. Fighting cool shit. Now this is me we're talking about. I will absolutely, uh, I will absolutely botch it. But you know, it's a cool way to go out. If I'm gonna go out, you know, I wanna go out on some sick ass, like, you know, anime shit. Brothers, sisters, welcome to the Sky Cult. What do we worship? The sky! Where's our church? The sky! Why are we killing ourselves? The sky! Oh, they massacred that turkey. That's disgusting. Oh, oh no, they're killing themselves. Why are they killing themselves? Actually, fair point. Oh, that's why. I was gonna be like, I've seen this before and I'm like, why the hell? Why the hell are they killing themselves in this cinema? Oh, it's because they're turning into things. D don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. the plot. Oh, oh shit, I actually get, um... I might have access to some costumes. Now, I'm hoping that the stuff from my, let's say, file hasn't transferred over. I want this to be a blank slate. 
I want to, like, have never touched a goddamn thing on this. But let's talk about some of these costumes. Because I am playing on the Switch version. Uh, which, look at that. Actually unlocks some... Nintendo-branded co- Oof. Oof, wow, some of the- Oof. Yeah, I'm getting a little, uh, hot under the collar. Uh, looking at, uh, some of the things that you're wearing, but, like, look at this. Oof. Oof, look at this one. And let's- and, like, straight up. This one, The Legend of Zelda one, apart from the fact that it's obviously Zelda, is obviously the best, uh, costume to unlock because it immediately, um, it immediately unlocks parrying in the game, which, this game is not built on parrying, but any game that has a parry is fucking sick. I will not be wearing, uh, any of these costumes, just for now, but, uh, do, do any of these other? Yeah, I get a free, um, I get a free arm gun. I get a free arm gun and Master Chief tech, if I wear the, uh, Samus outfit, I guess. Does this come with anything? Nope. This one is literally just a, uh, yeah, nothing changes, but... Okay, yeah, these are just costumes. I will not be touching the costumes, because, uh, we, we, we need to see. Ba Bayonetta needs to actually show us. Bayonetta, Bay bleh, Bayonetta needs to actually show us, uh, what she's got. What she's got. Under all that. No, I said... Ah, oh, fucking Jesus! Okay, I gotta... I, I'm sorry, Nintendo! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't care if it's a Japanese thing where technically you guys are used to your... Our B button is your A button. I don't care. God, I hate Switch controllers and how they like... Or Nintendo products, how they like swap over the fucking A and B buttons. The B is where the A should be. The A is where the B should be. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it, but alright. I better very quickly start my new save file. Wow, guys. Wow, we are like, uh, ten minutes in and fuck all this happened. Oh, don't worry. Oh, don't worry, the video game is about to give us a lot. The video game is about to give us... a lot. A lot is about to happen. Developed by Team Little Angels. They never finished Bayonetta 3. Just saying, guys, right now it's, uh, July 2020, you know, if you want to show us anything about, uh, Bayonetta 3, like any, like, like, was the Activision deal that bad? Did Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kill you that hard? I don't know, I thought, you know, Nier Automata was doing well for you guys. What happened? No, come here! No! No, I had so many things I wanted to tell him. He wouldn't have understood a fucking word, but that's not the point. I still, I still haven't been blocked by him yet. You know, you gotta be real confident in yourself, in like, if like, the opening of your video game, that you need to, you know, show everyone what you can do, if you're willing to let, you know, Jim Sterling piss on your name in the opening cut scene. Reading the good lord's book ain't gonna do much. People been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Hell, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta oh my god, oh my god, is there actually Humpty Dumpty in that casket? We don't take care I didn't think they could put him back together again. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. Enzo here is actually, weirdly enough, like a character from... I, I think it was like the novelization or something of Devil May Cry 1. I think Enzo was literally, uh, Dante's landlord. Oh yeah, by the way, we gotta talk. Like, Kamiya just doesn't give a shit. He just doesn't give a shit in this. He's like, fuck yous. Bayonetta, Devil May Cry, same universe, fuck ya. But it's a different company and it's owned by Sega. Well, it won't be owned by Sega for long. That's a good idea. Wait, no, I didn't mean that. You can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> God was feeling like eggs this morning. Speaking of hungry, we done here. You're a tough crowd, you know that? Kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers. Yeah, I know this guy with kids. Seriously. Well then, adios. What the fuck? They're here. For this I heard you. I heard you had eggs. I hate this damn life. I can't see a thing. Oh, but they're there, ain't they? 
Ah, it's, ah, it's, ah, it's okay. This guy's been dead for a hundred years. No one's gonna know. I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh my god! Yes, actually, since you mentioned it. Grant us guidance and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. Oh shit. Oh shit. Religion totally has magic powers. Oh god. Oh, if you just told me that my religion would give me, like, free magic powers? Shit, I might have been religious sooner. I don't know what the magic powers do. They make, like, a pretty circle in the sky, but yeah, okay. I'm coming for you, God! Oh, I was gonna say, has the game shit itself? That would suck if the game shot itself right here. Yeah, 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 yeah! Now that's a fucking pop off! This cutscene is giving me weird feelings about nuns. Don't look at me like that. She started it. The nun thing was her idea. Oh, I'm sorry. What's happening on screen isn't the best fucking birthday present you've ever seen. Oh my god, is this seriously what fucking Humpty Dumpty looks like in the books? That's insane! You die, and I'm gonna have to go back in that hole chasing Shrek, you got Humpty Dumpty completely fucking wrong. Look at this dude. Why are you guys lined up like that? Who cares? Um, excuse me? No, Humpty Dumpty's absolutely right. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> it's not porn. It's not porn. What are you talking about? Get off my back, Pixel. It's not porn. 2020 is not the year of Daggett Place porn. It's not! It's not! You shut up! It's not! Now, this is cheeky. Throwing me these cheap toys. Don't worry about quantity. I got him on sale, get off my back. <laughs> yeah, I tried to say that to girls too, but they they th they found that even weirder. Why do you have seven of them? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, video game. What's that? I'm sorry. Did she, did she just strap fucking guns to her feet? To her shoes? Where did that pole come from? Are you just materializing poles in the world for the bit? It's not, shut up. It's not porn, shut up. You're just gonna watch. I'm putting you to the 
Wow, this is like the most goth nightclub ever. Like all you other goth nightclubs, like, you know, get on this shit. We're literally like doing dances and shit, you know, in a graveyard. All right, time to talk video games. So yeah, we're doing Devil May Cry all over again. Uh, no, we will not be using touch controls. I, I'm, I'm sure someone enjoys touch controls, but no, that shit is, uh, is nuts. That shit is nuts. But yeah, basically, uh, same as Devil May Cry for the moment, you know, just uh, here's our basic attack button. Easy. Just spam X. All you have to do is spam X and you win. Just like Kingdom Hearts. Ha ha. Ha ha. Funny joke. Except we also have access to... I mean, like, you were you really going to strap all those, uh, all those guns to her feet and not let me use them? But yeah, basically, it's like, um, Tekken rules. It's like Tekken rules. Like, you know, Devil May Cry's, um... Devil May, Devil May Cry's control system is like, you know, just one attack for all your uh, basic melee attacks. One, sorry, one button for all your basic melee attacks, one button for all your gun stuff and all your, like, your special skills or something. Whereas this one, it's more like just string together your A's and B's. Also, get a load of this. They just give you the moveset. Fuck it. You want the moveset? You want the moveset? Here you go. In fact, this game does a lot of really cool shit that just like, there's no reason why Devil May Cry hasn't done it. There's so much shit this game does that's like, yeah, but why hasn't Devil May Cry done it? Why hasn't Dark Souls done it? I know that the, I know these two are like Dark Souls, Devil May Cry are completely different fucking genres, but whatever, fuck that shit. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. So yeah, whoops. Oh yeah, I have a dedicated screenshot taking button. Fucking weird. But now we gotta. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, basic dodge. Just a three, just a uh, one button dodge. You know, a la DMC. There you go. Look at that. It's a one button dodge. It's easy. I mean, or is it? You know, we might, we might have, uh, we might have some, we might, we might have some tech to talk about with this dodge. Get yeah, this is the most important thing. The whole game, the whole crux of the game is this. Whoops. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Great. Great, great. I'm good at video games. Shut up. The whole crux of the game is this. Like, there is dodging, and you can spam that dodge button to a degree, and you'll be fine. But the game wants you to learn to dodge at the last second. That way, uh, time actually slows down. Now, this is important because uh, I can't remember if I brought it up in my DMC playthrough, but, like, um, these style of games, the way they work, are, defin are definitely sort of the idea of... Um, we want to trick you in a, into thinking in a very specific way. And this is the perfect example of that. The game is like, okay, we will give you a mechanic where if you're good enough, you know, uh, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna ask you to... Uh, come on, Dad. Put it together. We want you to dodge at the last second. Like, doing stuff at the last possible frame, that's... Um, that's a thing that happens in Devil May Cry too. Like, uh, not too, but okay. That's the thing in Devil May Cry as well. The idea that... Uh, Royal Guard, for example, like, you get the best possible use out of the Royal Guard style, for example, if you do everything at the last minute, whereas Bayonetta is like, fuck it, the most important game mechanic is on absolute last bloody, uh, last bloody frame. So they're already tricking you, see? This early in the game, they're already tricking you into those fighting game mechanics of learn how to, you know, there we go, learn, learn how to, uh, Oh yeah, there is a lock on, but this is also like... <sighs> okay, from way back in my DMC Devil May Cry playthrough when I was talking about... Uh, oh yeah, I don't totally don't... I don't need a lock on. I don't. And this get... Oh Jesus. Okay, yeah, great uh, great start, Dad. Here I am. Here I am trying to fucking like... Uh... Yeah, box. Collect the box. Collect, collect, collect the, collect the metal ring. Whoop. Okay, I might have pressed the wrong button there. So I was, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to commentate. Get off my back. I'm trying to commentate. There we go. That's what I wanted. But yeah, I was like, no, I don't, I don't need a lock on. I don't. 
a don't when I was playing uh, DMC Devil May Cry, and now that I'm playing this, and, and right now I'm going, oh, right, all the shit that uh, DMC Devil May Cry did, and this game is literally doing it just better. Everything that I'm like, oh yeah, but DMC is pretty good. And then it's like, actually, fuck you, yeah, this game is doing everything they're doing but better. And I think this came out, like, I want to say just before DMC Devil May Cry. Like, these like these two games came back to back. And were like, yeah, Bayonetta. Bayonetta just decided, you know what? I think I can embarrass. I think I can embarrass those Ninja Theory guys just a little bit more. Oh, shit. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to the props. I was, I was looking for, uh... For a completely different move that I haven't even unlocked yet. I have to unlock it later, but we'll get there. Don't worry about it. Okay, so this is already an embarrassing start, but to be fair, the game's like... Listen, listen, buddy. Buddy, this is this is your tutorial. It's okay. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. We're not going to ask too much of you. We're not going to ask too much of you, because you are a tiny baby playing our video game. Now don't fucking die. Oh, yeah, 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 this thing. Hey, look at this. Here's another thing that, hey, DMC, why don't you fucking do this? Why don't you do fucking do this? Like, look at that. I can, you know, I can punch things. I can kick things. That's fine. But what if I decided, fuck it, I'm going to hold that button? It leads into, like, I can do that. And I can do it with my feet, too. I can shoot bullets out of my feet. This game is sick. But actually, that, that, has a, that, that has a super useful um, function, actually. That has a super useful function because it means... You get down here, shit, can't you? You get down here. So, it means that I can extend a combo. Like, the combo hasn't ended just because I'm holding the button. Like, if I do, what? Uh, just something simple. There we go. Like, punch, kick, punch, accepts. Hold the button. And look at that. The combo is still happening. I've, just, I've extended it. By holding the button, but it, but uh, yeah. In fact, Tekken, why don't you fucking do that shit? Tekken, get on it. There's no excuse why every video game shouldn't have this shit. No, nope, not that button. God damn it. Why is there? A, why? Why do they even have one of that? Oh, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, we gotta talk some stupid shit. Oh, we gotta, get, we get to talk some stupid shit in this game. But yeah, here's another thing. You're right. You're absolutely right, guys. I screwed up this tutorial. I screwed up this tutorial. I should have done it with my feet. I should have done it with the feet button, but instead... The feet button, Jesus Christ. Hang on, hang on. We can, we can do this right. There we go. That's more like it. This moment right here. This is what Bayonetta's about. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to you wanna know what Bayonetta's about? This. Right here. Right here. That's fucking right. All right, that'll do. Now I have to actually play the video game. Play the video game. Defeat these... Defeat these childs. Whoop. There we go. See? I can be good at video games sometimes. Just because I fucked up, you know, Devil May Cry. Just because I fucked up Devil... Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fuck this game up so bad. I'm gonna be like, Oh, look how good I am. Look at... I'm, I'm giving you, the guy in the audience, the tutorial. And then watch as I get, like, uh... Fs. Every single level, I will receive an F. I will receive a fail grade. Whoop. You cut that out. You cut that out. Oh, that, that's horrendous. That is horrendous. That horrible, like, baby head has, like, a vagina for a face. That is disgusting. Straight up. That's horrifying. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I can't. Damn, damn it. The same thing happened. I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking about combos that I can unlock later in the game, and I'm not thinking about, like, no, play the shit you gotta do now. Oh no, Jim Sterling, come back. Alright. Bye. Bye, Jim. I like that dude's videos. I better go after him. I better go after Jim. I'm coming to help, Jim. I'm coming to help. Uh, um, I, it was the angels. It was them. It was those guys. I love that little moment. I love that little moment, too. Haven't you figured it Even Bayonetta's like, oh, fuck. No quarter for you in this world. Which, yeah, guess what? You know what, this is, this is the, uh, 
This is Kamiya going, yeah, but what if you let me make Devil May Cry, though? Like, this other guy, this other guy is doing some good stuff, but what if I make it? What if I, what if I was allowed to make, you know, Devil May Cry again? But better. And I think, uh, yeah, we're gonna, t I was talking about Edgelords, and, you know, what makes a good Edgelord and what makes a bad Edgelord in, uh, DMC Devil May Cry. And this is that perfect example of, I'm not saying Bayonet is an Edgelord, she's far from it. But, uh, she's definitely a case of, like, even your main character, you like, you know, your super cool, amazing, can do nothing wrong character, is not immune to comedy. Funny shit is allowed to happen to your main character. I meant to do that. I don't know what you're talking about, guy in the comments. I knew that guy was there. I didn't fuck up. That's insane. I, why, why would you? Why would you assume that I fucked up? I never fuck up. I'm, I'm so good at video games. Watch me be so good at video games and definitely and totally unlock. Uh, uh, pure platinum. The whole game. Redon should be paying me for even touching these toys. Do you have any idea how much this is gonna Infinite gun box. How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? You just you just exude that kind of energy, Enzo. You just kinda of have the uh you know the safety monkey energy of it's just so easy to dunk on you specifically. About this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you! Well, I want an intelligence briefing, but, you know, it seems like there's not a lot of intelligence to go around here. Did you know this game was originally published by Sega? Did you know that Platinum threw them a fucking bone with that one? And Sega was like, no, we don't want this no more. Can you imagine being Sega and fucking up that hu It's Sega, what am I talking about? They always fuck up. Popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Yeah, wouldn't that be insane if they if they made some sort of sequel about that? Also, look at this. You heard the man. Finish up in five Cutscenes on a budget. Platinum going, yeah, literally, this is our first game. We need to convince people that they're actually going to like this shit. We need to do everything on the cheap. Devil May Cry for... Okay, hang on. Uh, there's a way I can pause. Th there we go. Yeah. Get a load of this. This is the loading screen, which I have paused, you know, for our amusement. But uh, they put the fucking move list on the, uh, on the loading screen. That's the best thing ever of all time. Video games should do that more. I think actually it's technically because, um, technically, technically it counts as a, uh, as a game in a loading screen, which Sega being, you know, the complete bastards they are. Oh, I can do Stinger. There is a Stinger in this. Awesome. But yeah, you know, Sega being, you know, the complete utter bastards they are. I think they patented, like, the ability to have a mini game in a loading screen because, you know, Sega hates fun and Sega hates money. They've proven it when they dropped this game. They proved it when, you know, they kept fucking making Sonic games. And they proved it when, uh, yeah, when they copyrighted uh, or patented or whatever loading screen minigames. And I think, thankfully, uh, I think, thankfully, they can still do it in, like, Bayonetta 2 and such. I guess because technically, um, it must be like a publishing thing or something where they still have access to, um, how do I do that one? I'm looking at I'm looking at that combo going. How do I do, how do I what does the R button do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll figure that one out. I'll figure. I've played this game before. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm so good at video games. Watch me be super good at video games. Um. But yeah. Sega. Sega just allergic to making money. I guess. If I could see them bastards that did this to my car, forget about it. Enzo no, I'd love to see that. I, I'd love to see you fight a bunch of angels, Jim Sterling. How can you be so calm? You're still getting screwed in all this shit. Because I'm, I'm designed by Hide Hideo... Ah, oh, fuck, not here. Hideki Kamiya. Wow, Hideo Kojima. This would have been a very different game. It would have been three times as long if this was a Kojima game. <laughs> Like a nun too. 
When you end up in the afterlife, that's not going to be pretty. I can't help it if I like the little outfits. The toys... By the way, that's Bayonetta going, yeah, and no, I love I love dressing up in this hot shit. Twenty years ago, you woke up stuck in a casket at the bottom of a lake. All you can remember is that you were a witch. But now you're stuck because you gotta sacrifice our halo wearing friends every day or they'll drag your ass back down to hell. I know I thought I got screwed, but being forced to slap around the divine for a living, that's really getting screwed. I'm sorry, Enzo, are you telling me the plot? You wouldn't be my first choice. Oh, yeah, literally, she's just making the joke I was making. Get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. <laughs> Come on now! Look at my poor car! I'm working for free after this! At least let me get a drink at Rodan. The long con. The long con. This dude wanted money, so we were like, we're gonna summon God to beat up your car, and he'll be like, oh fuck, I'll do it for free now, I swear. And figuring out some of that lost past of yours. Oh, right. You have amnesia or something, you know, the most, uh, nine out of ten games have an amnesia plot. One of them's even named it. Just like a girl. Jesus, can't you take a joke? I bet you're on. I bet you're on 4chan, aren't you, Enzo? That's that's a very 4chan thing to say. Oh, I thought that was some sort of enemy. Wouldn't that be crazy? Oh, hey, Enzo, you, uh, you got airplane insurance or what? Is that a thing, airplane insurance? You don't know. You could have bought that airplane insurance, Enzo. There was no reason why you couldn't have just bought that, you know. You saw that advertisement and you were like, who's ever going to need that? Well, today was the day you needed it. Okay, so I gotta turn off the notifications now. <laughs> My tastes are very specific. No, 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 I need you to stand around for like a whole, like, you know, at least a second or two. So we get like a proper look at you. Or you can just do this. Or this can be your character interaction. Sure. Oh my god, Cruella de Vil off her shit. You? This is like Cruella de Vil if she like snorted a line of coke before, before 101 time. <laughs> Cruella de Vil railed a Red Bull and then started fighting God. I don't have time for these for this puppy bullshit. I need I need I need the skin of gods. All right, so yeah, this is another uh, tutorial thing, but this tutorial thing fucking sucks, but it's important. It's important. The video game is like, yo, we're gonna teach you about, you know, how the quick time events work. Thankfully, uh, you know, tutorials happen to exist on a completely separate time stream. That thing, that thing. Hideki Kamiya, or just like Platinum games in general, rarely have a thing for quick time events. And it's up to you, you know, sometimes, most of the time. Quick time events are the worst fucking thing in the world, but, uh, you know, Platinum committed to the bit. They committed to the bit, and, uh, they do it better than most. I'm not saying they do it perfect. There's gonna be a lot of bullshit goddamn, uh, quick time events in this game. But this is basically build the meter to do quick time events. Yeah. I'm also on a timer, too, so I can't fuck around. I gotta make sure. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? B buddy, that's our- No. No! No, no, you can't! No! Hey, Cruella, bugger off! Bugger off, Cruella Deville. Piss off. I'm busy. I'm busy building meter. No, you can't just- you can't just reset the time stream. No, quit it. Quit it. There we go. Woo! And there's my third one. Okay, awesome. So I did the tutorial easy, but, uh, yeah, that's the tutorial that screws with a lot of people. A lot of people can't hack it, especially on their first goddamn playthrough of this game. I'm so good.
at video games. It, yeah, look how good I am. Look how good I am at video games. Did you see? <laughs> Google Earth always taking pics. You always gotta be posing. You never know when you're, you, you know, you're, you're the protagonist of a video game. You always gotta be posing. Never catch me not posing. Wait, no, come back. Wait, no, come back. You're my right. No, you're the, you're the first rival character I've ever had. Please come back. Oh no, a rival character. I hope this doesn't awaken anything in me. <laughs> it's a good video game. It's good video. This is a good video game. I'm excited for this video game. You, you don't understand. It's very important. It's very important that the video game, you know, centers on her ass at all times. We spent three months modeling that one. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. Dude, I just came in here for a drink. Why are you giving me the plot? Inferno. Paradiso. Who can tell the truth? Oh yeah, cuz cuz fucking paradise. Heaven is supposed to be a bottle of whiskey. Even harder with Purgatorio in the middle. Fight long enough in there and you'll really lose sight. Why the sudden interest in metaphysics? It's a balance. Right? Yeah, no, I didn't I didn't do I'm not I'm I'm an arts person, not a science person. We've all got a stake in the status quo. But people keep fucking around like this. The book of revelations is gonna look like Mother Goose. Heaven and hell are gonna go straight for each other's throats. I know there's a joke in there, but I don't know what it is. Like the um the framing of it or something just doesn't work. I have no idea what's happening in that scene to this day. There's supposed to be some sort of comedic joke there, but I don't know. This reeks of a setup. You know, Melbourne wishes it had bars this classy. Hey, Jared, Miona needs like a secret weapons cache. Get on that. I want to go in there for a drink, give the bartender a sly eye, he leads me into the back room, and I get like, you know, cursed demon weapons or some shit. Because they're one of a kind. Always pose, just in case. Just in case some, you know, guy on Google is taking photos of this place for a review. Always be posing. Give him a show. Give me that tiny dinky drink. I don't go in for strange offers. Then again, I'm getting a little tired of these weaklings they keep throwing at me. This game is too classy for me. a bit more. I'm too lower class for this game, and here, here they are at a fancy friggin' bar with, like, jazz and dinky little cocktails. Pounding them down tonight, baby. No I'm not rich enough to look at this cutscene. sure you got somewhere better to be. The guys you're up against aren't the type to wait for you to finish a round. Aww. Enzo, her drinks are going on your tab, buddy. That's the secret technique. That's the secret technique. I need to I need to trick the bartender into a conversation, so I leave and he, you know. Then he puts my whole tab. He puts my whole tab on the uh on the safety monkey hanging around in the back. Yeah! Yeah! I did that one on on purpose. 
Yeah, wow. Oh man, I sure hope I can keep this up. I sure hope I can keep, uh, yeah. Keep this one. I, I sure hope I can keep getting platinum medals throughout this game and not, you know, fucking up. I sure hope I don't fuck up the rest of this game. Like a dear devil may cry. Yep. So good at video games, guys. Just you watch. Just you watch me be so good at video games. Uh, what? Excuse me? Um, wait, no. Wait, what is this? No, no, I, I, I want to, I want to see, I want to see her shoot guns out of her legs. What, what the fuck is this? Okay. We're, we're doing, we're doing guns now. Okay. We're, do, we're, do, we're doing, we're doing a, a light gun game. We're doing time crisis with angels. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> ah, I actually, I actually want to aim for that dude's head, which I've already screwed up. Which I have already screwed up. But, uh, yeah. On her off time, Bayonetta just like, you know, decides, you know what I'm in the mood for? I'm in the mood for some time crisis. So, can I... Oh, Jesus, wow, I'm fucking this up already. I was aiming for the other guy. There we go. That's what I want. But I found the most uh, efficient way of doing this, uh, of doing this game is just uh, only, like, just do headshots on these guys. That's all you need. Because then you can kill him in one hit, you get like five points, so what have I got? Let's say I've got like six bullets, I can make it easy. 30 arcade, I can make 30 tickets. I can make 30 of those little dinky tickets and I can get like a little uh, keychain at the end of this. Watch me, watch me. And you get like the big uh, dudes that float around for like an extra 10 bucks, but like, they're such a fucking pain in the ass to kill in the first place, I'm usually like, nah, screw it. Just get headshots on these guys, and I make the bucks. And I'll make the box. Yeah, I'll get longer. Yeah, that, that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I didn't do great. I didn't do great at times. So, uh, if I got like, if I got two more headshots, I could have got these, the Lich Heart and the Gold Moon, but which I usually say to my, like these. These are the ones I only bother with. Because guess what? This is a fucking Devil May Cry. I'm not going to say knockoff, but I am going to say, you know, inspired by so uh we are on the same rules of yeah there are items that make the game easier don't fucking use the items we don't we don't touch those items it you know this is this is a very specific genre of video game where they're like here yeah, we put these items in to make the, to make the game easier don't use them don't use this thing we put in the game but fuck that noise thankfully uh all i have to do is cash in my bucks. I can I can cash in my arcade tickets for a couple of bucks. Ain't that fun? Wouldn't casinos be more fun? You know, if you could uh, if you could play Metal Slug and then like exchange those tickets for bucks again. Wouldn't that be fun? 